Welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. I'm Joanna. How you doing? Are you having a good day? Are you good? Tell me if you're good. Tell me if you're not good. I am right now um, trimming up. This, ladies and gentlemen, was my very first diamond painting. And I saw it the other day because I thought, you know, it was hanging on a hanger. Let me turn the lights down so you can really see it without the glare. Look at all the different crystals I put in it. I went bazooka on this. It was like all my favorite colors. And it was the very first one I did. And it didn't have a frame. And I thought, you know, and to me, now, are you ready? <laughs> this was, um, this had 20 colors in it. And I thought, I'm never going to get through it. I'm never going to get through it. 20 colors. How am I going to get through that? Oh, please. Now I'm like, I could do 20 colors by lunch, you know? But uh, we're all growing in, in, our, in our craft. And everybody's at a different level. But I went to look at my, re my year in review. My rear view mirror, I call it. And you would not believe how many diamond paintings I have that are, don't worry if it's not perfect because it's going to be inside the grid of the, uh, of the picture frame. I could not believe how many of them, my spoons that I did, uh, that seemed to take a while are on the wall. My uh, thinking of you is in a big frame in the entryway, uh, along with three others. The New York, New York one turned out so good. I love the colors. And my husband has what's called backlighting on his TV. And so the backlighting really, woof. You know, because it has all those neon colors. And I was like, I would have to take all of these down. Not to mention there's a few I do not have pictures in books uh, in my book of. So I need to take care of that today. And I also need to take care of my two gifts that I am preparing to send out. Hopefully in the next two days. But what came today? Temu, and I i know this is like the only thing really worth showing you. The rest of it is kind of crap. Okay, I need some clarification on this. There was a kid on Temu who said, you know, if you can get friends to join, you get money. It's kind of like an Amway thing, I think. I don't know anything about that, but I do know that I have found it's kind of like... All right, you take your chances with Temu. And I am not a paid sponsor by any means. I'm just a girl who likes to occasionally, impulsively buy shit. Stuff. Sorry. So I found out that they had this diamond painting. This was like two bucks. I was like, what? Shut up. Well, it's got this icky little green tray. These green trays go right in the garbage. I can't handle them. Um, the regular DMC numbers. And I'm going to roll her back because she's very, she's got that really hard nylon backing. But I purchased this for a reason. For those of you who've been following my channel, I buy some pretty big boys. Now, I'm not buying that Dreamer Design one. I mean, that is ridiculous. I don't love it enough to uh, commit to it, to something that large. And that is one big old landscape. But this one, I don't know if she's licensed or not. Temu doesn't give you any information. 
if you want to help a girl out, you're more than welcome to look. I don't even have a thousand followers, so quite frankly, anything that's not licensed isn't going to bite me in the butt that bad. But I saw her and I thought, what a perfect little in between the big boys to do. And I wanted to tell people like Lizette, by the way, Lizette gave me the sweetest shout out. Uh, thank you. Oh, my darling. I call, you know, she wanted to go to the Pyrenean Mountains to go skiing. And I was like, well, my dogs are French Great Pyrenees. And uh, Fiona comes from France. And I'm fully convinced that dog does not speak English. You know, so I call her Mujaba Coco Fifi. I don't know what Mujaba means. I I know a lot about, you know, food names that are French, but I have no idea what the heck it means. <laughs> if you know, tell me. But thank you for your lovely, kind words. You always bring me joy. And I love listening to you when working on a project or not working on a project at all. So this starts at 152. So I'm assuming there are no ABs in it. But couldn't we put some, like some little hot pinks in here and in here? And maybe, you know, just just kind of brighten it up a little bit. Her face is lovely and the colors are soft and mild. And this is what is important to keep balance in your hobby by um, taking a break from the big monsters and doing something not even bright, you know, just easy and quiet. And, well, I'm not going to have a problem taking these out because there's only 21 colors. Definitely wanted to look at the colors and see what they look like. And they are all just like, I mean, it kind of reminds me of like maybe a little bridal shop where you go in and it's like oh, an overload of beauty, you know, so it's, it's beautiful and simple. The drills actually look pretty shiny. I love this peach color. I hope... That is in her skin tone because there's quite, there's like a 10 and then 9 and 9. So these two are quite alike and there's two bags of that too. Um, it's something fun that you could just, you know, not stress yourself out, out over and enjoy while you're getting ready because chances are... If I can get, if, I say if, I'm very optimistic, aren't I? <laughs> if I can get my, uh, my two little gifts out this week, which I'm hoping to, and as soon as, I, as soon as she receives them and sees them, I will post them so you can see them. Providing I get them done... I probably will just want to play with her for a couple of days. And then we're going to probably start either on the Magic Life with all the bright, bright colors. Or we might just go right into the Venetian. And the Venetian is something I have, you know, it, it really, it was on my hot list and someone wanted it, and I wasn't able to deliver it. I was like, you know, I can deliver it, but you're going to have to wait. Because <laughs> I got a lot of life going on. And my doctor, oh my God. I had to go get blood work early this morning. No coffee. You can't drink anything or eat anything before you go get blood work. So I had to get blood work. The dreaded mammogram is coming, and I'd love to be brave and nonchalant and say, it's nothing, it's nothing, what are you worried about? It's nothing. 
they go in, they smoosh it a little bit. Okay, you cannot smoosh me into a patty melt when my bazookas are the size of Texas. It just doesn't work. So I have a doctor that really cares about me, and he wants to make sure that I am clear of all these things. You know, I'm not Wonder Woman. I am not Wonder Woman. I'm scared. And I'm I'm scared of the actual, well, you know what's the most fearful thing right now? This shows you how off my mind is. I'm scared of drinking that crap the night before the colonoscopy. I can't. It's so gross. You have to drink two of them. I'm like, oh, my God. There's going to be vomica all over this house. And uh, so I'm scared of that. And um, I, I think I'm more scared of the process, you know? I mean, I keep thinking about that Ricky Gervais movie when he goes in to get a colonoscopy, but he physically dies for like seven minutes and he comes back and dead people are following him all over New York because they, they want him to get a message to their loved ones so that they can move on into the light. I don't want that responsibility. No, I can't, ha I cannot help you with moving on into the light. Okay, I'm not that big. I'm not that important. Trust me. I mean, you know, God says you matter, but I'm telling you, when he starts sucking about Joanna, he's like, oh, that girl. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're going to be waiting a, a millennial or two for her to get her wings. You never can tell. My guardian angel probably is in a wheelchair right now, hovered over with a bottle of good Irish whiskey and a pack of smokes going, when are you going to be done, for Christ's sake? Are you going to knock this out of what? You know, so I, all these stupid, crazy... And I know, so what? It's a little crazy. A little crazy goes a long way sometimes. Sometimes we all need a little crazy, right? Not not the kind that hurt people, but a little crazy can go a long way in helping you laugh through these situations. So laugh with me while I go through the next two weeks of... Oh, yeah. And... And it's my freaking birthday. Ay, ay, ay. And it's the first birthday I'll have without, without uh, my son David because he and I have exactly the same. My son and I were born on the same day, the same minute. Yes, 9.53. The same minute, the same day. I mean, he can tell everybody how old I am. <laughs> and he does. And I'm going to kick his ass for it. But really, I mean, you know, um, it'll be my first birthday without him. So I really want to either do it up big or blow it off altogether. What do you think? Should I go big or go home? I want, I should have a poll. Um, I don't know how to make a poll. I'm going to learn how to make a poll. Okay, and you guys can answer to the poll. Anyway, thank you for letting me vent on you. And uh, we're going to keep on keeping on. But this little angel was on Temu. They change every day. It's like gardening or yard sailing, but you don't have to leave the house. It's really, it's a weird situation. Um... And I love it because it has free shipping. But um, I'm not disappointed with this little girl. I think she is quite lovely. Quite lovely. Anyway, you're important to me, so be important to you. Shine on. You're going to have to shine extra big for me because I need it this week. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>